What's going on? Happy Monday. I'm in a park here. I um, actually can't share this uh, in a number of groups because I'm on my cell phone. But uh, as this um, broadcast uh, is going, I'll uh, say what's up to folks who are hopping on. Uh, definitely looking forward to sharing with you some valuable content this morning. Looks like my connection is kind of weak. But we'll, uh, we'll see. All right, here we go. We're live. Okay. Cool. So I um, want to shoot this quick Facebook Live video to share with you. Today's topic, uh, should you approach your warm market about your business opportunity, whether it's your online business, network marketing company, whatever it is, should you approach your warm market? And some people say, heck yes. Some people say, heck no. Some people just don't know. And so I'm going to share with you my thoughts on uh, whether or not you should or should not approach your warm market and share with you, you know, one key thing that uh, you should keep in mind uh, when, when considering uh, and approaching your, your warm market. And the reality is, uh, you know, your, your, um, your sponsor, your upline, your company is going to tell you to make a list of your 100 uh, close friends and family and connect with them and share with them you know what it is you're working on and to be very frank and be very honest um, they won't tell you that your upline sponsor and your company won't tell you that more than likely your uh, friends and family are going to tell you no right they're the people that are going to give you the the objections you know is that a pyramid scheme you know what are you doing um, you know I'll wait till you make money first or uh, it was some other objections. Um, get a get a real job, right? When you approach your your warm market, you're gonna get tons of those objections. And should you approach your warm market? I would say yes, um, because you know you never know. Someone may be interested in your product and opportunity, but you should only. Here's the key: you should only approach your warm market when you don't care whether or not if they join or not. Right. If you are if you are emotionally wrapped and and, you know, committed to them actually joining your business and you're addicted to them actually saying, yes, you know, I want to get involved. I want to get started with you. Um, you're going to be in for a very uh, rude awakening. Right. Majority of your friends and family just aren't looking for a business opportunity. The majority of your friends and family aren't um, they're quite frankly, unfortunately, they're ignorant to the, the industry and profession. And so when you approach them, they're going to be you know, more likely to try and protect you from something they don't know much about, but something that they may have heard is, is not a, a, a legit business or uh, is a pyramid scheme. Oftentimes, they don't know what a pyramid scheme is anyway, but they're going to say things like that. And if you are addicted to the outcome, you're going to become discouraged uh, by their, their opinions by their their comments, by their by them not joining you, right? And so, I say the only time you should approach your warm market in, is when you really don't care whether or not they join your business or not, right? Um, you're not, uh, you should not be in a position or should not be in the mindset that you you are relying on them to join your business in order to be successful, right? Um, I, I when I talk to people, I say you know make sure that. You know, when you approach your friends and family, know that nine times out of ten, they're not going to join you. Nine times out of ten, they're not going to buy from you. Nine times out of ten, they really just want to protect you. And so, if you are, if you are, um, you know, just fixated on on them actually joining your business, and you know that you know they're going to be your ticket to success, um, you shouldn't approach your warm market yet, right? Um, start with. I encourage you to start with you know prospecting. People in your cold market, people you don't know because there's no connection there, right? And once you've reached out to them and connected with people and you started recruiting some people, then you can share with your warm market, hey, you know, I've been doing this business for some, some time now. Uh, wanted to share with you. If you're open to it, cool. If not, no worries. And your demeanor, your um, posture will be different. If you're coming from a place of you need your family and friends to join, um, you're going to be very disappointed when they don't join. So key tip to remember in this quick li Facebook Live video is that before you approach your warm market, think about this question. Do I care if they join my business or not? 
if the answer to that question is I do care and it's going to make or break me, don't approach your warm market first. If you don't care and you're not addicted to the outcome, by all means, go ahead and share uh, what it is you're working with your warm market. But if you're addicted to the outcome and you are, you know, expecting your friends and family to get started with you and join you in business, you shouldn't approach your warm market. That's all I have for this afternoon. I'm here in the park. Uh, we actually have a, um, a band camp we're doing this week in auditions for the uh, BK Steppers Drumline. Uh, so I'm going to be in and offline uh, throughout the day we have today, tomorrow, and uh, Wednesday at our band camp. But I'll be on tomorrow. See you at noon. Uh, definitely uh, click the button at the end of this live stream to subscribe and get notified when I do go live. Additionally, go to my website. I got some free, a free five-day boot camp um, where you can actually learn how to prospect uh, on social media. It's a free uh, offer that's on my website at antoniorthompson.com. Uh, check it out, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Peace.